Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. It is Wednesday the 14th of July, it is quarter to four in the morning and we are all packed and ready to go to Portugal. I finished uploading the previous vlog at about 11pm last night and then I popped onto the couch and I took a few hours nap and then I woke at about half past two, quarter to three and then I finished the last bits of packing, had a shower. We are all set and ready to go. Time for me to cross off another day on the board. And there we have it, two days out. I've got my luggage, got my handbag. Milo has gone to our friend's house. Stitch is hiding somewhere and he is going to be minded by my friend. She's gonna pop over and see him every single day. But we need to grab our taxi now and get to the airport. So as you can see, we are at the airport now. We are all checked in and the whole process was a lot less painful than last time. We had our COVID test, our passenger locator form, our letter from the IFBB so that we could enter Portugal with no issues. And we managed to upgrade to business class as well, which is amazing. So we're just at the spa now having a foot massage and then we're gonna board our flight and I am most definitely going to get a nice sleep. So not only did we manage to upgrade to business class, but the seats we've actually got have got the longest and biggest leg room in business class, so Dan's very happy. So I am most definitely going to kick back, relax and get a good few hours kip on this flight and I will catch you guys on the flip side in Portugal. So we have made it, we are here in Portugal again and it feels kind of weird because it's like deja vu, we've been here and we've done this all before but as soon as we arrived and walked through the gate we met with Amy, Amy's competing in the pro show, I've talked about her lots on my vlogs and I cannot wait to get this weekend started. We're just stood outside Vodafone, we're going to pick up a sim card and then we need to book our Uber and then we're going to head to our apartment and our apartment this time around is very, very different. I hope Darren approves. I hope he approves. <laughs> We are all checked in to our amazing apartment and I think Darren is happy. I picked the perfect spot. It has so much space. There are so many different rooms. There's a workroom for me, there's a bedroom, there's two bathrooms, huge living space, and there is so much light. You will see that I have got my practice <laughs> posing bikini on because the first job when we arrive is to check in. So I've just checked in with hubby and we're really pleased with the way that I am looking at the moment considering I've just had an eight hour flight and I had 
over 300 grams of carbs yesterday. I don't think we're holding any water. So as soon as I checked in with that video, Darren was like, wait, 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 I wanna go and stand in the balcony. I wanna take some photos of you right now with the lighting hitting you just perfectly. So I will insert those for you guys now. And I think it's safe to say he's very, very happy. I think this is probably the best condition I've ever been and I've still got two more days to go. Like my legs right now look better than they did on show day seven weeks ago. So I'm really, really happy. But I'm gonna ask Darren to see what he thinks because we're about to head to the gym. I've got to get a pre-workout meal in. I need to start eating some more carbs, but what I eat is completely up to him. He's the coach, he's gonna decide. So I'll ask him now. So you've just taken those photos. What do you reckon, babe? Yeah, really happy. Um, you know, we did expect to hold a little bit of water on the flight potentially. Thought we would, but we're not concerned because obviously we're at Create Diuresis tomorrow. So we're gonna look to pull the water off. But if this is the way you look now, this is fully loaded with a high carb day yesterday. Um, what, 10 liters of water, 10 grams of salt yesterday. So you should be holding loads. We've got off and honestly tighter today than you were show morning um the last time in portugal so very exciting so today we'll we'll run another high carb day roughly around the same as yesterday but obviously we'll see we'll assess that as we go on through the day we've set your pre-workout meal yep we're gonna go do an upper body session um nothing crazy just move move some of the glycogen around uh come back and then we'll we'll take it from there sick just preparing my pre-workout meal but i just wanted to show you guys how super organized i am compared to Darren. I have already <laughs> unpacked everything. It's taken me literally five minutes. So I've got all my show day stuff. I've got my shoes. I've popped my stuff away in here. The outfits that I mentioned in the previous vlog, all laid out, good to go, including my training outfit. So I'm gonna get this on now and show you my pre-workout meal. This is the first meal off the plane and this is what we're working with. I've got 80 grams of chicken, 80 grams of cream of rice and 25 grams of dark chocolate mixed in. I am so ready to eat this and go and train. But I must show you, if you guys saw my previous vlog, you'll know I brought all our meat sauces with us. So because they were frozen when I packed them, they've gradually defrosted in the hold, although the hold is still quite cold, and now they've gone in here. So I've got all my meat ready to go and obviously packed cream of rice. After training, we'll probably need to go and do a little shop to get some fresh bits, and obviously Darren will want fresh food for himself. But let's eat this up and go and train. Last session to go. Just arrived at Mr. Big Evolution Gym, and it feels like we were only here last week doing my last upper body session. So I'm training with Darren, which I absolutely love, and I'm just going to film one of each exercise so you can see what I do for an upper body pump, literally two days out from my show. Just finished my very last training session before my competition in two days. And the pump on just that one carb meal is insane. I feel like my muscles are bursting. So I don't know what I'm gonna feel like when I get more carbs in me today and then when we dry out tomorrow. So I'm super excited. However, I'm not the only one competing this weekend. Darren's got quite a few clients. So this guy here has come all the way from the Seychelles and Darren's peeking in for this show. 
We've also got Amy, who you met on the vlog earlier. And here she is. This is Amy, IFBB Bikini Pro. She's going on stage on a Sunday. And Darren is just checking her over. She's just trained her pole session. And she's looking ridiculous. Ridiculous. I really hope I can get a ticket to go and watch the pro show. I want to go and support my girl. She's looking mad. So it's 10 to 6 now. I'm only just getting my second meal in after landing in Portugal. And we have got 100 grams of cream of rice and 80 grams of salmon. I am in heaven. And yes, my salmon is in my cream of rice. Don't hate on me. This is going to be freaking mega. But it's coming up to six and I still have another three big carb meals to get in after this. Your girl is going to be busy eating. I'm also going to be very busy editing because I have recorded a lot of footage for this two day out vlog. So I need to get my butt into gear if it's six o'clock and this has got to go live tonight. I need to make a start on editing now. Darren has just popped out now to go and get some more food bits to make sure we've got everything we need for the next few days. So I'm gonna plonk myself on this couch and make a start on editing. And I'm gonna set myself a target to get this all edited up to this point before he gets back. Wish me luck. Feels like I'm at home in my normal work position. I'm on the couch with my feet up. Check it out. The raw footage was 24 minutes long. I've cut it down to 11 and a half. It has just gone 7 p.m. Darren's just walked through the door with all the shopping. He's eating his meal. Freaking nailed it. Time to go and get my next meal before Monica arrives for my therapy. My next two meals consist of 60 grams of raw weight jasmine rice in each meal. So that's 120, which I've just cooked up and equates to 340 grams. So I need to split that over this meal and my next meal. And I've got 80 grams of chicken, some green veg, 170 grams of this cooked delicious jasmine rice, and I'm gonna add 20 grams of cashew butter. And as you guys would have seen, I packed our cashew butter, but <laughs> half of it is stuck to the lid. So it's gonna be fun. Let's get 20 grams. There we go, all sorted. This meal looks delicious. Just need to add my pink salt and I am going to thoroughly enjoy this. There she is. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How am I supposed to give you a hug when I? I know. How can I help you? So we finally have Monica here. So for anyone that doesn't know who you are, Monica, yeah. explain who you are and what you do. <laughs> Okay, hi, I'm Monica, um, I'm the pro athlete therapist, so basically I work primarily with the pro bodybuilders or early athletes, um, and now currently we do pre-stage treatments before the Mr. Big Evolution show in Portugal, where Bex is competing, so we work on primarily like conditioning, mobility, helping people get into the poses properly, and help them to get rid of the water retention so they can be be nice and striated and have all the details as they need. So just the little details that can like make a big difference really. Perfect. So this is not gonna be like deep tissue where I'm gonna have any swelling or inflammation. It's it's the opposite. We're gonna bring yeah, out detail. Exactly. And we're gonna work on perfecting my posing. Yeah, exactly. Super, I can't wait. Okay, so as we did before, just dropping down the right shoulders, just like that. So you just need to open it up slightly more. So it's going to be probably your entire front again. Yeah. As we did like once out there. And open up. Yeah, side. open you like totally. So it's much easier. Like whenever you then have to open up your back pose, it goes easy. You don't have to force it. So it goes naturally. Okay. Is this any painful or is it fine? Mm -mm, it's fine. Cool. Take a deep breath in for me and out. Cool. Just for that. And again. And out. Mm -hmm. Just for that. Boom, job done. Oh, I feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go into the hard <laughs> Oh 
my goodness, that felt so, so good. But now it's like nine o'clock and I've still got two massive meals to get in. I'm telling you, being in a Mediterranean country with the sun not setting until late, it's completely thrown me. Feels like it should be like 6 p.m. right now. So I need to go and get my next meal. I'll show you what that is. And then I need to crack on with some more editing and then get my last meal in not too late. Next meal is 80 grams of steak. The rest of that rice, which is 170 cooked grams of rice, some broccoli, and now it's Darren's turn for treatment. Whoa. It's now half past 10. I have finished editing everything. It's all ready to go, thumbnails done. I've just prepared my last meal, which is 60 grams of cream of rice, 25 grams of dark chocolate. And quite honestly, I'm not even hungry for it. I'm so full because I had to cram all of these meals in, in such a short space of time. But I'm gonna get it in. I'm gonna make myself a nice herbal cup of tea. I'm gonna upload this video and I will catch you guys tomorrow and show you what I'm looking like because tomorrow I'm going to be one day out from my show and I'm beyond excited. From how today's gone, tomorrow is only going to be better. I just know it. And tomorrow there will be probably hardly any carbs. So I'm gonna enjoy this meal now and then I will check in with you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching all of these videos. The views are going up, the comments are coming through thick and fast. The support has been unreal. And I think in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna sit down and have a proper reflective chat with you guys about how this prep has been, how I'm feeling, and the pressure I've been putting on myself for this show and for my ultimate goal of turning pro. So I'm gonna close this video off here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.